Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video we're going to take a look at why some images may be blurry on your website. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. Sometimes we get asked by users why their images are blurry. The main reason for this is found in the media library. I have a container with two half columns here and let's say I want to add an image element into one column. Now if I quickly go to the global options and layout, I can see the site width here is 1200 pixels. And I want to add an image that's going to fill around half of that. So when you add your image, it's important to check what size image you are inserting. If we look at the size option here, we can see that currently the image to be inserted is only 300 pixels, in a space that's closer to 600 pixels. And so this image would not be crisp and sharp. If I click on the size option, we can see a range of different size images were created when I uploaded this image. The full size is 2000 pixels, but that's unnecessarily big for a half column. So here I will choose the 600 pixel version. For real crispness on retina screens, you can also choose a size double the needed size, so here that would be the 1200 pixel version. If you are adding an image in a full width container, you'd want the biggest size available, with the sweet spot somewhere around 2000 pixels. Images for websites is quite a complex area, so to keep it short here, that's the main reason images are blurry when adding. It's just the wrong sized image that's being added. Check out our blog post on images for more information on this fascinating topic. I'll link it below. Ok, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.